Uh, our entertainment reporter Dixie Watley had a chance to talk with actor Jeff Goldblum recently, and you know he's made quite a name for himself with film credits like Annie Hall, The Right Stuff, The Big Chill. His highly acclaimed performance in The Fly moved many hearts, including co-star Jenna Davis. I understand that Nick is based on a real person. How did you research the role? Well, um, I met, you know, I like the fun aspect of the role more than anything else, and uh, I get kind of heroic in it and uh, but I am a psychometrist I'm a psychic I can touch an object and from the feel of it I get vibes um, about and, and can know where it's been and who's come in contact with it and what's happened to it and I met with a couple of people as a matter of fact who claimed to do that and they gave me a little demonstration did you believe it well they told me some things about myself, you know. Sometimes uh, I get I get feelings sometimes myself, even from people's voices. I know Dixie. I, I'm just no, really. I'm th I'm th I'm thinking. You told me you lived on the Charles River just now, off camera. But are you? Is your house like? I see you looking down on it. Is it? Are you, are you in a two-story house? <laughs> yes, I am. No, really, and it's a kind of a homey. Is it homey inside? Yes. You have antiques? Quite, quite antique and homey. Really? Yeah, this is a little unnerving. I think you may be taking this role too seriously, and you may have found a second career now. Well, uh, <laughs> thanks. I just get, I just, sometimes I get, uh, do, you, do you drive a, a um, you'll never get this one. A Jeep. <laughs> is that right? Close that to right? it, yes. I do drive a four-wheel drive Jeep you do? type thing. Uh, this is starting to scare me here, Jeff. Now, I've, I've got to it scares find out. me. I, I, I just, <laughs> ever since I did this part. Well, you've got uh, some other interesting roles coming up, too. I understand uh, Earth Girls, you play an alien, and you're doing it with a lady that you feel very special about, Gina Davis. I do. I'm married to Gina Davis. We did The Fly together. It's a silly, funny uh, musical comedy. I'm from outer space, and uh, <laughs> so she's a manicurist, new? lives in the valley in California. I land by accident into her swimming pool, and we fall in love. Oh, what a logical plot. Now, especially falling in love with someone when you're playing The Fly. Now, granted, I did get choked up at The Fly, but you weren't exactly your normal, attractive, suave self as that, as that film went along. What was it that if you will, gave you the vibes to decide, to decide that you liked each other or loved each other. Oh, you know, as a matter of fact, we met on um, a movie that we did before then. We've done now three movies, uh, Transylvania 65,000 in Yugoslavia. And as soon as I saw her, I was kind of struck by her. And then uh, uh, a few days later, and uh, as it went along, and still now, now that we've known each other three years, uh, I, I, I keep uh, uh, adoring her more. That's wonderful. Well, I know she you started out being kind of very shy, you know. She was painfully shy, and she said, you know, I'll, don't, don't, I'll get over this. Uh, and in fact, she's turned out uh, to be a wild person. <laughs> no doubt she discovered a few things about you that she wasn't expecting, too. Did she come to visit you? I understand you shot uh, Vibes in Ecuador. You keep picking yeah. these strange places to shoot movies. How, what yeah. was that like? What was the, was there something particularly difficult about shooting at 14,000 feet? Well, that, you know, I'd never, uh, the altitude was uh, hard, and I'm athletic, but, it, you know, you'd walk uh, over there, and you'd be kind of out of breath, you know. It wasn't as tough on us as it was on the camera crew carrying around big, heavy equipment. They sent one guy back, but it was uh, tough, but beautiful, like it appears in the movie, very kind of misty and uh, special and mystical. Did it actually seem mystical? Did you feel anything different in shooting this kind of film in that kind of an atmosphere? Yeah. It was uh, uh, exotic and kind of the sound. You know, you'd be there and you'd hear a sound. It was a, a kind of a special feeling. Along with an unorthodox movie, you certainly had an unorthodox co-star, Cindy Lauper, who's made quite a name for herself as a singer and now looks like as an actress. What would she like to work with? Mm -hmm. Oh, she was great. She's, you know, I love music, and uh, uh, so I admired what she'd done before, and uh, she's always been original and playful, and uh, she was fun to work with. She'd break into uh, Ethel Merman's songs unexpectedly, and uh, 
be singing uh, There's No Business Like Show Business, and, uh, but she approached it very seriously, too. She worked very hard on it, and uh, in fact, to prepare, studied with a psychic and kind of got a, a uh, you know, black belt in psychic stuff. Ed Begley, Jr., one of your friends, once described you as bright, witty, and tidy. Do you agree with that description? <laughs> well, it's very flattering, the bright part, the witty part, coming from him. He's uh, one of our premier wits. I, I don't know how to gra gracefully comment on that. The tidy part, sometimes, um, but sometimes messy, too. What, what's the messy part? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just not always tidy. I just kind of sometimes, I just kind of throw things off and leave them there and just kind of, you know, just kind of messy. And Gina says, pick that up, Jeff. You're making a mess of things. No, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she's very good. Well, congratulations on a wonderful career that just seems to be growing and growing and growing. We do appreciate you being with us today. I appreciate it, Dixie. Thank you.